Welcome back to vSphere Upgrade, the inside track. I'm David Stamen. And I'm Kev Johnson. And this episode, we'll be talking about upgrading your ESXi host, your VM tools, and your VM compatibility. So first up, we'll talk about the ESXi upgrade, right? The, the next thing right after the vCenter. And so the, the way we kind of really recommend doing it is using Update Manager. We can easily yeah. import the image, create a baseline, and that'll include patches, extensions, and the image itself. It allows us to do it in an orchestrated way, one host at a time, and get that to the latest version. And it's the simplest way of doing it. It's the things, simplest right? way, yeah, right. Sure. But we might have those interactive or scripted approach, well, maybe you need to upgrade to a version other than the vCenter. Because we said, well, hey, upgrade your vCenter to the latest version. Yep. You might want to go that interactive method that way. Sure. As well as if we have a remote site that might have a slow internet connection, you might want to download that ISO locally and do that in an interactive method so you don't have to worry about any type of slow bandwidth along the line. So cool. those are really a couple of ways that we can get our host upgraded and get it running to the latest version. What about auto, de auto deploy? We can use auto deploy. Um, it makes it really simple because we can just update the image profile and reboot the host and then the new image is streamed down. But it does require the use of host profiles, which some customers may not have in their environments. Awesome. So moving on from that, let's talk about VMware tools. So yeah. VMware tools are super important. We want to see people running them, you know, the latest version wherever yeah. possible. So something that's important to understand about VMware tools is how that check happens. Mm -hmm. So with modern versions of ESXi, we check against the host every five minutes. Mm -hmm. So if there's a new version of the, uh, of the VMware tools installers there, it's going to then flag up that, mm -hmm. yeah, VMware tools needs to be upgraded. Yeah. Um, we also have uh, the capability to point all of your hosts to a single location using a variable called product locker. Okay. If you want more information on that, vspacecentral.vmware.com has got all of that information okay. for you. So when it comes to doing the upgrades, um, you've got two, two options really. You've got the interactive mm -hmm. or the, the, the automatic. So okay. the interactive, you need to log into the VM, you mount the ISO file, and okay. you run through the wizard. Yeah. Uh, there's also the automatic where you can just tell it to run through. Bear in mind if you use automatic, um, mm -hmm. if that upgraded VMware tools requires a reboot. That virtual machine is going to reboot at the end of it. Well, that's normally only like when we're, we're doing the pair virtual SCSI adapter and it, the it, VMXNet 3 adapter. Generally, yes, but okay. it, it, it varies depending okay. on what you're going from and to. So, okay. yeah. Um, also, there's. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Linux. So, if you're running li Linux, You've got, uh, you know, if you've got legacy versions, you're mm -hmm. probably running the MS, uh, the MSI, the TAR tools, yeah. or the operating system specific packages. Those are no longer being developed, so there's mm -hmm. no new features going into those. Okay. They're, they're frozen at 10.3.5 for features. Okay. So we're on VMware Tools 11 at the moment. Okay. Um, all we're seeing going back into the 10.3 branch is security fixes. Yeah. So if you're running a modern version of Linux, mm -hmm. we strongly recommend people use Open VM tools. Okay. But uh, hardware version or tools version 11 isn't included in the host, right? That's where we have to use that product locker to make sure our VMs are running that latest I, I, version. Either that, or you can download the offline bundle, import it into Vome, and then you can push that out to your host. But yeah, okay, product perfect. locker makes that much yeah. simpler. Uh, moving on from VM tools, we've got VM compatibility. So this mm -hmm. is the this is the creature previously known as virtual hardware. Okay. So this exposes all of the all of the cool new hardware features. So mm -hmm. with version 14, we introduced features like support for Microsoft Microsoft virtualization based security, okay. virtual trusted platform modules, mm -hmm. per VM EVC, all of these kind of things. So Even if you need those stuff. features, yeah, if you need those features, then you need to be running 14. Okay. Version 15, we just bumped up the maximum number of vCPUs and RAM. So if you've got virtual machines that need 256 mm -hmm. vCPUs or six terabytes of RAM, and you've got servers that support it, happy days. But generally, you're, you're only going to want to upgrade if you need these features. Okay. So long as you're at version 9 or 11, version mm -hmm. 9 gets you all of the fixes for Spectrum Meltdown in the okay. microcode. Version 11 gets you the best performance. Okay. So really, don't go to 14 unless I need those new features. Version 11 is perfect for me. Yeah, it's, it's because you're ripping out that motherboard, okay. you're putting another one in, and it's a, it's a potentially risky business. So okay. test your backups. Yeah, it's important. We talked about that upgrade. So cool. Yeah, so that wraps up this episode. Well, what's next? We're going to talk about upgrading your storage and your networking. So again, for more information, log into vsphere central.vmware.com.